Smile and learn. Today we're going to talk about polygons, those geometric shapes found everywhere. Can you see that sign over there? Look at that kite. I'm going to draw them in my sketchbook. Wow, all these objects are polygons. A polygon is a plane figure described by a closed polygonal line. Look at these shapes. Can you see a polygon? The first shape is not a polygon because its polygonal line is not closed. The second shape is not a polygon either because it has a curved side. That's it! The third shape is a polygon because it's formed by a closed polygonal line. Polygons are formed in several parts. The sides are each of the lines or segments that form the polygon. The vertices are the points where all sides meet. The angles are the space determined between two adjacent sides. The diagonals are the segments that connect two non-adjacent vertices. We can classify them in different ways. Regular or irregular. And depending on the number of their sides. A regular polygon has all sides and angles equal. An irregular polygon does not have all angles, nor all sides equal. Here you can see some examples of regular and irregular polygons. Polygons can also be classified depending on the number of their sides. Triangles are those polygons that have three sides. This slice of pizza has a triangular shape. Quadrilaterals have four sides. This sandwich or this kite are quadrilaterals. Pentagons have five sides. This swimming pool has the shape of a pentagon. Hexagons have six sides. These honeycomb cells have the shape of a hexagon. There are many types of polygons, but to learn how to read them, you need to use the corresponding prefix. It's very easy. A seven-sided polygon is a heptagon, and an eight-sided polygon, it's an octagon, and so on. Let's recap everything we learned about polygons. They are plain figures described by a closed polygonal line. They are formed by parts, sides, vertices, angles, and diagonals. They can be classified in regular or irregular, and also depending on the number of their sides. Like math, polygons are everywhere. You only need to look around you and pay close attention. Did you like the video? We have so many more! Subscribe by clicking on the seal. Ah, and if you want to keep watching more videos, click on the boxes.